My name is Walt Cassidy. I'm an artist and designer. I live in Brooklyn, New York. I first came to New York in 1991 as an art student and I started working in clubs and, you know, I always dressed up as a kid. I came from a punk scene. When I was a teenager, I was involved with like a hardcore scene and the punk scene was the first family structure that I had and I learned about sort of etiquette, group etiquette. But it didn't totally fit me. You know, it's like I sort of felt like the punk scene was like a skeleton without any flesh on it. You know, so there was a missing part. And when I came to New York and I discovered nightclubs, all of a sudden there was all this flesh. You know, and the skeleton was already in place inside of me, this sort of ethical skeleton. And then it was just about sort of filling out the flesh and the skin and uh, this is my first sort of look, if you will. That was when I broke through. My first nightclub gig that I got was doing paintings for the interiors of a club called Building. And the owner of that club, they had an attic space and they basically gave me that space to use as a studio. And so, you know, I was 19 years old. I had just arrived to New York and I was like, I have my own studio in like the best club in New York. Like, it's like I was like, I've made it. This is it, here I am. Um, and I, you know, I was in heaven. She's going to smile just to make you Everybody knows You know, as a scene, the club kids scene needed to end. You know, um, as any scene does, you know, uh, the Warhol superstars, the Beats, the Hippies, Berlin, you know, everything kind of, there's a natural arc built into everything. I don't think that the forums of nightclubs needed to die. I think that was a political uh, agenda of the cities. I don't think that needed to happen, and I think a lot of people suffered from that. Um, a lot of creative people all of a sudden had a really hard time surviving. That, that dividing line of 1996 and the Rudolph Giuliani years that's when New York was lost. You know, everybody that loved New York as a concept and the New York that I saw when I first came to visit on the streets and in the clubs was gone. I always think creativity is like blood. You know, it should always be flowing and moving. Whenever it starts to coagulate, and it's dangerous, you know, it's like blood clotting. And so I think when you create something, there's a point where it starts to, the idea coagulates and it becomes a thing and other people realize it becomes a thing. What I've learned with maturity as an artist is it's important to know when to destroy the things that you've created. I think that they're a, a pure artist has to kind of throw themselves on the fire. They have to go inside of the flame. I think it's a very specific commitment and sacrifice that you make to be an artist. Um, and it's dangerous. I'm not gonna create work that I haven't lived inside of. That level of commitment was something that I've always found very engaging.